I'll tell you what else he didn't miss, boy. Big Willie and the twins are hurting right now. My goodness. <laughs> All right, fans, you know what to do. Time to rate the jersey of the week. Today we got a Vince Carter Retro Raptors jersey. It's a very nice jersey. I love the purple coloring on it. Um, rate it in the live chat or comment section below. And yeah, let's get started with the show. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the NMR Sports Podcast. And today we're here with Trent, Nick, new member to the show, and Tyler. So we're all here on the NMR Sports Podcast. And today we're going to be talking about the NBA. So, um, the NBA season is coming back. Very exciting. Uh, guys, how do you feel about that? December 22nd, save the date. How do you guys feel about that, Nick, Trent? That's great. Great, yeah. All right, so, um, <laughs> so, um, as probably some of you remember from last season, I'm a Cavs fan. I know I'm wearing a Lakers shirt. It's a LeBron shirt. I like LeBron. But I am a Cavaliers fan. It's a little misleading right now, but that's okay. Uh, Tyler is a Celtics fan. Uh, and then Trent, you watch the NBA, but you're not like, you don't not like, you're not, you don't really watch it much. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Golden State fan. Golden State, though. And Nick, Nick, do you watch the NBA? Yeah, I like the Yanks. The, the, the wrong sport. <laughs> All right, so let's get talking about the NBA. Let's let Tyler go first, talk about his Celtics. So, Tyler, how do you think it's looking for the Celtics this year? All right, so the Boston Celtics, this is definitely a very interesting team right now, I believe. Um, after what happened uh, last season in the playoffs, I if we can return to that same dominance, I think we are serious NBA championship contenders I agree. this season. Um, and with the we addressed one of the biggest issues this offseason by acquiring Tristan Thompson, we really needed rebounding. That was one of our biggest issues. And also we just got if you watched like the, the Heat series last season or in the playoffs, we got roasted on the pick and roll. It was, it was unbelievable. Yeah, so Celtics, I, I agree with you. I think they, they, they're they definitely championship contenders. They got a really good team. Definitely going to be top of the East. Sixers are going to be somewhat competitive too this year. It's going to be actually a little more close now rather than the Celtics literally blowing them out in the postseason like they did this year, which I didn't expect. I didn't expect that to happen at all. I'm going to be honest with you, but it was surprising. So, yeah, I agree. Celtics, um, definitely championship contenders this year. Be really good. Um, so, uh, before we get to me talking about my calves, let's get in with our, you know, our new segment food of the week with Trent. Trent, what you got today? Got a bagel. All right. A bagel. Some hot chocolate. Hot chocolate's always, huh? And Pepsi. Look at this guy. He's got everything. Here until Christmas. All right. So the hot chocolate's in addition until Christmas. Uh, that's our new segment. If you guys didn't see, uh, episode one, it's food of the week with Trent. All right. So let's get talking about my calves. So, um, the Cavs, they, you know, they're the Cavs. I mean, they're not going to be anything special this year. I know we re-signed Andre Drummond. We finally drafted literally well. Cavs, sorry to interrupt, but literally Cavs fans every season. I wonder if LeBron can come back for just the playoffs. Maybe. I mean, that would that would really help us. I, I, would, I would appreciate if LeBron would come back. LeBron, please, please, please come back. But anyway, Cleveland, tell the Cavs. This is for you. Cleveland, this is for you. Uh, that's one of my favorite quotes of all time. I used that for an intro last season on the NBA episode, if you guys remember. But anyway, so this team is, it, it's, it, it looks, it, it's going to be, it, they're going to be better. I agree. Uh, I, I, think, I think that they're going to be a better team than they were last year. They're not going to be anything special. Probably not. Um, Andre Drummond, he's not really going to help much. He's going to help a little bit defensively, but. Nothing really special there. Kevin Love is and aging. rebounding, he is. He's good at rebounding, on, yes, on he is. Boards. He is. Gra and grabbing boards, he's really good. But Kevin Love's getting old. I think it's time for him to get out of Cleveland, I'm going to be honest with you. we uh, Our draft pick, Isaac Okoro, uh, they played a preseason game over the weekend, uh, and Isaac Okoro started. So, I mean, he our draft pick, we finally addressed what we needed, which was forwards, people that can score. Defensive players, you know, we finally addressed what we needed um, this draft. Instead of drafting another point guard after we drafted Colin Sexton, 
Darius Garland, I'm sorry, man, but I don't think you're going to work well. People think that Garland's going to develop and Colin Sexton's not going to continue to be good with Cleveland. I think the opposite. I think Garland is not going to be the answer. I think Sexton's the answer for point guard. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just think this team's not going to be anything special. Um, they, they're not going to make the playoffs. They're probably going to finish lower in the, in the East. It might be last in the East, honestly. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, it's not going to be anything special with the Cavs, unfortunately. So same stuff we've seen since LeBron correct. left. What's that, Trent? I can't get an erection. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> that, was, that, that was a scene that Trent recreated from Family Guy. Roll the clip. This country needs stronger border security. Our border security is the strongest in the world. What we need is to take care of our children. I can't get an erection. Okay, so that's how that rolls, and uh. Yeah, we, what else, uh, Trent, you want to talk about your Warriors? <laughs> Got anything to say about them? Uh, no, thanks. No, thanks. But you just give a little bit of input. We might, we might be good next year, you know. We'll pick the ball. Huh? Wait, did we get him? Uh, no. He... <laughs> we have Curry coming back next year. You do? True. Well, they have Clay and they have Curry. So... Isn't Clay out for the year or something? Contend. Isn't Clay out for the year or something, or he's hurt? Oh, yeah. That's going to put it down. Uh, they're they're going to be mediocre. Yeah. They're not going to be as bad as they were last year, I'll tell you that much. Definitely not going to be that bad. Uh, They, they drafted Wiseman, right? Yeah, they drafted James Wiseman. Yeah, yeah they drafted James Wiseman. I think he's going to help, and then, you know, you got Curry. He's still there. He's still Steph Curry. Come on now. Uh, but they are not. They they might make the playoffs, yeah. but yeah, I don't think they're so championship. Good that Drake mentioned him in 0-100. In, uh, oh, yeah. That's right. All right, Nick, do you do you watch the NBA at all? Like, are you, like, NBA? Like, do you watch it at all? Yeah, I watch some of them. So who's your favorite? Who would you say is your favorite team? I don't know. I, I like uh, the Bucks. I guess. The Bucks. Okay. That's Giannis. Yeah, yeah, I, like, I know, like, all I know is Giannis. Mm -hmm. And, like, he's a goat, but, like, that's about it. That's about it. Yeah, not yeah, that's me. All, that's really all I got to comment on. All right, there you go. All right, that's something. Me and Tyler are, like, the only ones, like, you know, ta that know about the so, NBA. Like, I am, you are the Stephen A. Smith, and I oh, am yeah. the... I am that man. I am. Stay off I'm the weed! God. Had to do that. Come on. Like, what the hell is going on here? Yep, that's that's no no. It was it was Stephen A. Smith has so many quotes. We've we've used them as intros, and it's just so great. I'm proud that you think I'm the Stephen A. Smith of the NMR Sports Podcast. What's Trent? Trent's like the Molly Cure. She just she just stands there and moderates everything. <laughs> he moderates Mac freaking Max Kellerman and uh, Stephen A. Smith on first take. No, no. Trent's the Joy Taylor of the... Oh, God. I don't know. Is she still on ESPN? She's on FS1 with... That's my, it. FS1. What's that, Trent? Why am I a female? Because you don't talk much about... Well, in this situation from the NBA, but if it's NHL... Anyway, we didn't come here to talk about sports broadcasters. We came here to talk about the NBA. Yeah, that's true. We did. We did. So, uh, since we don't really have much else to talk about the NBA, let's talk about... Yeah, that's who are going to be some, you know, sleeper teams this year? Like, who's going to surprise us a bit from each conference? So, Tyler, let's start. Who do you think is going to be, like, a sleeper from the East? Ooh, this is tough. Mm. The Kings. The Kings? No, they're the West. They're the West. I said the East. East. <laughs> Come on. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, 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 uh... These are the moments in life that you'd love to forget. So. Oh, yeah. All right, anyway, so... I really have to think about this. All right, so so talk about the Kings a bit. We'll go to the Western Conference, the Kings. Okay. Um, I think the Kings, you know, with De'Aaron Fox, he just signed the max extension. Mm -hmm. um, they have Marvin Bagley. They have a lot of young guys, and I think a lot of young talent. And that is uh, having a very youthful team and having something to build on for the future. I think... This is the Kings year. This is the Kings year to make the playoffs. This is I can see it. I can see it. Definitely. 
Yeah, they got a young team. That they, they're, they're a young developing team. Here's what I think for the Western Conference. Now, it may not be much of a sleeper, but the Suns. Because the Suns have, haven't been that good. I mean, Devin Booker's been insane. But, like, the Suns, I think they're finally going to have a somewhat good season this year. What do you think? Wait, you don't agree with me? Yeah, like... The Suns, I think they're... They, they have Chris Paul now. They have Chris yeah, Paul exactly. Now. They have Chris Paul now. So, you know, he's going to bring that veteran presence. I think they're going to be, you know, a solid team this year. I think this is the year they finally, you know, have a decent season. You know what I mean? Now, Tyler, who's yeah. your sleeper for the East? Do you have to come up with that one yet? For the East, uh, I have actually literally pulled up all the teams in the NBA right now. <laughs> That's um, great. <laughs> <laughs> Want proof? Oh my God, he, he he really has to think about this one. Yeah, um, maybe I'd say the Pacers. Maybe that's a possibility. Pacers, Heat. Oh, the Heat! The Heat made the finals last year. I don't really consider them a sleeper. I, I, but are they really going to return to the finals this year? Probably not. You're right. Good point. Maybe the, um, I don't want to say the Sixers, because they're, like, guaranteed. Yeah, same with the Nets. You know, you can't really say the Nets are a sleeper, because yeah. they're, and they might get, like, who knows? I think if James Harden goes to a team in the East, they have a decent um, chance to be playoff contenders. Oh, God. Whatever, whatever game, whatever um, team he goes to. Yeah, they'll be a contender. Especially if he goes to the Nets. The Nets might be championship contenders. I mean, they kind of already are. They got KD coming back. They got Kyrie Irving. They just hired Steve Nash. I, I feel really uncomfortable about saying this, but um, maybe a bit of the magic. Yeah, I, that's who I was going to pick. I was going to pick the Orlando Magic because they're, they're, they always been like a not-so-good team. And I like I said with the Suns, they're finally going to have that season where they bring it all together. You know what well, I mean? The thing is, last season, I know it was shortened because of the bubble, but they went 33 and 40 and still made the playoffs. Yeah, that, you're right. That that too. Exactly. So I I, I agree. I, I, I think the magic for the East and then for the West, I said the uh the Suns. I said the Suns, right? Okay, so um Yeah, the uh, what else can we talk about NBA wise? So look at Trent and Nick, bro. They're so they're they're so into. What are you guys playing right now? Minecraft. Minecraft. So so uh, Trent and Nick, you guys got anything to talk about? You guys didn't really talk much. Um, this pretzel fire. Where's it from? Where's it from? Pretzel factory. Nice. Nick, what you what you? Uh, how about you talk a little bit about yourself, Nick? This is your first episode. What's your full name? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what's it? What's My name's it? Young Nick Nick Ball. <laughs> Play baseball. I'm a legend in the making. Um, I help um, Offset produce a couple songs. And that's really about it. That's about it for, for, uh, for Young Nick over here. Trent. So, like, the, these guys do not talk. What is it with you guys? They're too intrigued on Minecraft. Why'd you show us? You don't know NBA. You know that? What? I once made LeBron pass the ball. I was covering him so hard. Oh, did you? It's yeah. impressive. Impressive. I also made Gretzky ice the puck. <laughs> Being a Celtics fan, I can tell you this. What? Trent, you're, you're, you're the Brad Stevens of the group. Brad like, Stevens. What when, about when the Nick African guy? Like, Brad Stevens is freaking great Brad coach Stevens. though. Great coach though. He's a good coach though. What is that? Come on, don't yeah, he, no. Stevens. He's like freaking Coach O. Freaking Coach O. Coach Ogeron from LSU. Go Tigers. Okay, wait. Illuminati confirmed right now. What? Was Trent the fan that threw the drink at Ron Artest and started the mouth of the palace? Huh, what? Wait a minute. Because Trent, was that you, bud? Yo, that was him. 
Let's roll that clip right now, shall we? As quickly as possible. The problem is, if Wallace is ejected, I'm not sure. He'd have to walk past the pace of bench to go. Now our test has jumped over the scorer's table and is trying to get down to the bench. Our test is in the stands. Oh, this is awful. Fans are getting involved. Steven Jackson's in the fans. Rasheed Wallace going into the stands. Let's, let's talk about who our favorite sports like anchors are. Anchors, okay. Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith the go. Dan Orlovsky. Um, I've, I've uh, been liking uh, Colin Coward. Colin Coward? Yeah. He's no? on FS1. Um, Wait, Trent somebody said somebody. Who, Trent? Shaq. Who? Shaq. Oh, Shaq. Who doesn't love Shaq? Come on now. Yeah, who doesn't love Shaq? Well, what about Charles Barkley? What about Charles Barkley? <laughs> oh, you know who my favorite is? I'm going to send you a clip of this, Jake, because there was a time... Oh God, maybe maybe that'll be an intro or something one day. Oh God, that might be an intro one day. All right, you know, whatever. Let's just roll that right now, shall we? We need stuff to fill time. Right, roll it. Exactly. He's gonna kiss him. Here. He's gonna kick him. He kissed him. Yes. 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 Yeah, I I thanks for... Were, I thought you were a queen. Yeah, I, I, I... You sent that to... Yeah, never mind. All right, we all oh, just I witnessed that. I kiss you on the lips now. Hey, yo! Anyway, let's not talk about that on the show. Is there any news in sports right now? I'm actually checking. We need something to talk about. We can have... I haven't got off PlayStation. Oh, yeah, Trent, you're on PlayStation all the time, dude, and your sleep schedule's screwed. Yeah, or, I sleep, or I'm sleeping, it's either or. Either one of the two. Or I'm pissing off Megan. <laughs> shout out to Megan, I'll friend's girl. Shout out to shout Megan. Out. Shout, out. shout out your girlfriend. Sleeping. What? By sleeping, like I sleep and she gets pissed off. Oh, Trent, Trent you're calling out your girlfriend on this show. <laughs> okay, all, all I'm Megan, saying is, she's calling I called to have an engaging conversation with you. Oh, the TikTok. Bro, <laughs> Megan was calling you out on TikTok, dude. Trent. Megan just called me. <laughs> We're on the show. I have to sleep to Are you kidding? Bruh, like, we're just calling, we're just, you're just calling out your girlfriend right now, dude. That's great. I can't give direction. Oh, God. That's what, the, uh, I'm, gonna I'm telling you, that's oh, great. Megan's gonna kill me. Why? What? If she sees this, why? She probably will, Trent. You gotta tell her to watch it. Shout out to Megan when you're watching this. Hi, Megan. You won't watch it. <laughs> Yes, you will. Fine by me. Oh, God. Wow. This, this is already topping. What's that, Nick? I said, wow. She won't even watch it. Wow. <laughs> Can we get a round of applause for her not watching it? Wow. <laughs> All right. No, no round of applause. Forget that. <laughs> we should give her a secret code if she watches it. So what do you I mean? Has to tell us the code. Guys, so I just watched this... Um, movie Die Hard. Yeah, go ahead. Here's the, here's the line I have to say. What's the line from Die Hard? Let's hear it. Tyler Parker right now. Say it. You be Kanye, <laughs> Bro, that's what I'm going to tell people. Like, bro, that's going to be... That should be the code. That's the code. Guys, that's the code. That's the code right now. You be Kanye. That's going to be the code. You have to text seven after the podcast. Okay, so after the show's over, you have to text 7, Megan, if you're watching this, you have to text the number 7 to Trent if you watch this. You better have. You better have. Because if he doesn't get text number 7, uh, we're going to know you didn't watch the show. So if she doesn't watch it, you got to go her for a day. Oh. Oh. No, oh. oh. <laughs> She's going to be happy about that. This is getting intense. Let me just say that. We went from zero to 100 real quick. Facts. 
We went from talking about the NBA like, oh, the season's starting yet, yeah, to, oh, I'm going to ghost Megan because she didn't watch the podcast. We got to really crack down on your supporters, Jake. True. Yeah. But I know all my supporters are loyal. Comment in the live chat right now. Spam the letter F if you are loyal. We'll see it when it premieres. You know how it yeah, rolls. In the chat for respect. Yeah, exactly. For respect for the NMR Sports Podcast. You know how we roll. All right, no, drink Pepsi. We need another burp. So, Trey, you open up your Pepsi, huh? Show the uh, Cindy Crawford Pepsi commercial right here. Maybe. But we need the burp. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Good job. So, you guys got anything else to talk about? I'm good. All I'm going to say, Trent, if, if Megan watches this, she's going to be pissed. Oh, yeah. We're calling her out. We gotta get some we can spam apps in the chat for for our boy. Oh yeah. You know you know how to do it. Do it again like you did before. Alright everyone, well that's gonna end today's episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys next Wednesday. <laughs>